Okay, here is your motor. I've took the head off. Okay. And it shows, this is kind of evidence that this has been burning really lean. Like I was saying, um, if straight gas is burned in here, in the gas tank without a proper oil mixture, I don't know if you can see right in here, right in here is a little, see that little nick? It's a scratch. It's a thick scratch that the edge of this knife easily grabs onto. That's probably about a twenty. That's about a five to ten thousandths of an inch scratch. It's really a bad scratch on your cylinder wall here. Your piston is seized inside of the cylinder. The cylinder's loose now. I took the head off and now this should be free to slide right off. But what it's doing here now, see how the wheel is turning. Okay. So that, that piston wants to go up and down and it it does, but not when it's attached to the cylinder, okay? The cylinder will not allow the piston to go up and down. When the cylinder's free to move, the piston's free to move up and down only because it's stuck to the cylinder. It's, it's welded. The piston is welded to the cylinder, and it's not moving. So that's what happens, and I can't, I can't even get it to come off. It should slide right off, but it's not. I've been, I can even try to whack it and knock it off, pull it off. But this will not come off. It's totally seized up. So uh, the engine's pretty much toast. It uh, can be totally disassembled and the whole top end cylinder and piston replaced. And that would work. Or uh, I would just buy a new engine for about 120 bucks and, uh, I can replace it for you. Just swap it out. This whole, this whole assembly right here that I was telling you about earlier. So that's the deal. So that's pretty much burnt and it's, uh, welded together. So it's, this part is ruined. The piston and the cylinder is ruined. That's it.